More than three decades ago, Scheffler engineers developed a revolutionary technology for dampening torsional vibrations in the drivetrain. The dual mass flywheel, or the DMF, under the Loop product brand. The DMF is different than a conventional flywheel as it is made with two metal plates which are designed to rotate against each other. A dampening system in the form of arc springs is integrated into the DMF. In drivetrains with a single plate flywheel, vibration and noise have nowhere to go except directly into the powertrain system. The DMF spring system dampens this engine vibration, which means less noise, increased driver comfort, and extended life of the transmission. Traditional internal combustion engines create torsional vibrations in the drivetrain because of their power strokes and ignition sequences. The downsizing trend increases and amplifies these rotational irregularities of the engines as the displacement size and number of cylinders are reduced in order to lower fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. Today, a DMF is installed in 50% of all new cars globally. Proper procedures are critical to follow when making repairs in vehicles with a DMF. This is especially true when working on 2002 to 2012 Infiniti and Nissan dual mass flywheels. These vehicles are equipped with a dual mass flywheel that has a crankshaft tone ring built right into the flywheel. The dual mass flywheel is not indexed on the crankshaft and can be incorrectly installed in a variety of configurations. When installed incorrectly, the vehicle will have a check engine light on, the engine will not rev past 2000 RPM, or the engine may not even start. When removing a dual mass flywheel from the 2002 to 2012 Infinities and Nissans, it is recommended to make your own indexing marks on the flywheel and crankshaft. When installing the new flywheel, make sure to transfer your marks from the old flywheel to the new flywheel to ease installation and assure proper indexing. If you have already removed the flywheel and did not make any indexing marks, follow this procedure for proper installation. One, with the flywheel removed, look for the alignment dowel pinhole on the end of the crankshaft. Two, on the new flywheel, find the same alignment dowel pinhole. This can be done by finding the locating hole and notch on the front side of the flywheel. When you have located the notch and hole on the front side, flip it over and find the same hole that goes all the way through the back side. When both have been located, align the two holes and torque the flywheel to the proper specifications. Everything you need to make the correct installation of the dual mass flywheel and clutch can be found in one Luke DMF box from Scheffler. There is no need to search for individual parts as the release bearing and all fastening screws are always included in every Luke DMF box. The Luke Rep Set DMF is the right choice for every DMF installation. Remember that replacement of the complete DMF assembly is recommended to avoid early failure. It is no longer a suggested practice to turn or machine the old flywheel. The dual mass flywheels used today are individually balanced for each application. Choose Luke Rep Set DMF as the very best Scheffler solution for your customers' needs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.